Hiya, um, thanks for taking a look at my uh, tuition video of the status quo song Down Down. Um, the full version is also on YouTube, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break the song down into parts and show you how each part is done. So, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that the song's played in an open tuning. It's actually in a G tuning. Now your guitar is normally tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. For this song it's going to be tuned G, sorry, D, G, D, G, B and a D. So you've got three notes, you've got a D, you've got a G and you've got a B. Uh, so that makes a G chord. So that's what you're going to do. So you'll tune your top, uh, your lowest E down to a D. Don't choose any of them up, no matter what you do because uh, you'll end up snapping your strings. So you've got to tune them all down. So your lowest E goes down to a D. Uh, your A string goes down to a G. Your D stays where it is. Your G stays where it is. And your B stays where it is. And you tune your E string down to a D. One finger. Chords. Anyway, then you get your trusty capo and you put that on at the fourth fret. And that gives you a B chord. Um, you can work that out by finding, because we're playing a G, and that note there is now a G, uh, G note. And G, G sharp, we count our way up, G sharp, A, A sharp, B where we're going, where we're going to put the capo on. So we're going to put the capo on at the fourth fret. When you've got a G7th, put it on, clip it on, and away you go. So that gives us a B chord, an open B. We don't have to touch it. We'll just play it. So anyway, your first chord, um, I'll show you the start of it again. Now your first shape that you're going to, you're going to need your second finger and your third finger for this. Uh, another thing, I'm going to say the fret numbers in relation to the capo. So imagine the capo, capo, whatever is your new nut. So when I say your third fret, you go from the capo up to first, second, third fret. So we're on the actual seventh fret, but I'm going to call it the third because it's three above the capo. Uh, so you put your second finger on the fourth string. Uh, third fret. You will leave your others. All the others are going to be open apart from your third finger is going on the third fret of the B string. That's the sound you're after. That's the first chord that you're going to play. Now we're going to play the open A string and go down, uh, down and up on the on the on the rest of the string. So we play open A. your first bit. Then you play the open A again, which is actually a, uh, a B. Uh, and then we're going to play, so you've got our first chord, you're going to take your second finger down to the second fret of the fourth string, and your first finger is going to go on the first fret of the B string. So you've gone from down to it's actually an A minor seventh shape. You know, if you play in an open position, normal open position, you've got to, it's an A minor seventh, I should say. So second finger on the fourth string, second fret. First finger on the second string, first fret. So we'll do it nice and slow. We'll go. So that's your first little bit. Make sure you get that top it in, uh, note in. So that's the first bit. So if you do, if you stick with using that second finger as your sort of location note, so you you move your second finger down to the second fret, lift off your third finger and drop on your first finger. So. 
that's your movement that we've just got. Then, what we'll do, for the third chord, we're going to do that same shape where we were on the third fret of the fourth of the second string. We're going to take it up two frets, so we're on the fifth fret of the fourth string and the second string. You want that sound? So we've got and that second chord there is your third. And what I do, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can either, which is what I, I tend to prefer that one, if I go, so I've got the fifth fret of the fourth string and the third string with my second and third fingers, but then I change over and put my third finger onto the fifth fret of the fourth string and my first finger on the third fret of the second string which gives you that sound so I've gone Some people, I suppose, would play, uh, leave that second finger where it was and just drop, take the third one off and drop your first finger on there. If you prefer that, by all means do that, but I tend to swap them over. It just feels more comfortable, but whatever floats your boat, basically, whatever, whatever's easiest for you. You might find it easier to stay there and drop that. I don't like that. So what I'm doing is I'm going that shape, down, that shape, up, swap. You may stay. So all that's moving, your second finger is staying on that fourth string. Whatever, whatever suits, try and both, see which one you'd like the best. Um, so anyway, up to speed that would be. Be better on that down, uh, down strokes on those. So you do that twice. Then we've got. Let me show you that nice and slow. So it's. First chord that we played, second chord that we played, second finger and your first. Open, so we've got. I tend to pull it off there from that uh, second finger, second fret of the fourth string, first finger, first fret of the second string, and pull off to the open strings. slide from the 3rd fret up to the 4th fret on the B string, uh, the A string, 5th string, should I say. All these notes are getting confusing, these A's, the B's, there's all sorts, but what we're actually doing is going from the 3rd fret, uh, fret to the 4th fret. So we're going, pull off, slid, open, So we're going down, then we're sliding and going back up. So we're going. That's wrong. Yeah, it's that. That slide there is rather than being two notes, it's just one note slid into the other one. It's sort of. That's the one. So we've got quick slide into the fourth string. Open, first chord, uh, second chord, which was those two fingers, to there, so we're going. You with that? I've got to tap this out already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the website and you'll be able to see it there. 
Um, so that little jump there, rather than being two notes, it's one note. Put it in the four, five strings. Leave the leave the lowest one out. Leave your uh, low D out because it uh, overtakes everything. It's uh, you'd ra I'd rather you leave that one out because it sort of drowns everything out with it being a low D. So uh, we're going from the fifth string. Yeah, you with that sort of going. Keep that going as well between. So we've done that three times, and then we'll go. So we're going open, that eight minor seventh shape to the first part that we played. How many times did we do that with him? Five times. And we finished off with it to get uh, the open strings down, up, down. There we go. So, Take yourself nice and slowly through that, just um, each chord shape, maybe go that way. Try that, do nice and slow. Everybody used to say uh, that status quo songs were really easy to play, um, but when you look into them, they're not particularly easy to play, especially if you're a beginner uh, and you're working in on this uh, open tuning. A bit of a challenge that they can be, it's just that they make it sound easy. Um, so anyway, take, have a go at that, take it nice and slow, see what you can uh, come up with. Uh, and I'll move on to the next bit. Uh, which is the the rocking out shuffle pattern? We'll do that next time. But as I say, on the on the guitar site, the Focus on Guitar or the GuitarSecret.com, I'll put it on. I'll put it on the GuitarSecret.com. I'll put the tab uh, and I'll put the video as well, uh, and you can find it there and practice it. Take it slowly and never ever give up. Bye for now.